So this is Skip reading my fic, fic lit, called Hazmat Suits because we couldn't think of a better name. And Hazmat Suits came about after the episode in Woodstock with the skeezy-ass motel where Olivia stayed. And it's the fic that brought Tash and I together in our scash or scash, depending on, uh, you know, which accent you subscribe to in our partnership. So, <clears throat> okay, here we go. Elliot arrives just as she's getting out of the shower, wrapped in a towel that looks far too nice for the standard of the motel, with which she has not bothered to dry herself at all prior to stepping out of the bathroom. She crosses the room to let him in. What are you doing here? I'm here to apologise, profess my undying love and bang you through the mattress. Not necessarily in that order. Oh, you better come in then. He does and looks around in disgust. Liv, this is gross. You make a wedge. Why are you staying here? To advance the plot, Elliot, a skeezy creep can't get away with setting up hidden cameras in a Marriott. A camera, he echoes, looking around with interest. Where? It was behind the mirror, but I put one of my many blazers over it. Mm, never mind, we can just set up our own. He sets up his phone to film. Olivia sighs and goes to flip the camera so he doesn't get an hour-long recording of the wall. There. He goes to toss her on the bed, but stops to examine the bed covers. This is too nasty, Liv. Wait here. She sits in her towel, huffing impatiently as he goes out to his truck. He returns with an armful of white plastic. What the fuck? Quickly, he shakes out a big white plastic sheet and uses it to cover the bed. Left over from my eddy days, he tells her, and she does not want to know what he means by that. Then her mouth falls open when she sees what else he's holding. Quick, put this on. Seriously? Come on, Liv, <laughs> I'm losing wood here. She drops her towel and gets obediently into the hazmat suit as he does the same. She zips it to the neck and looks at him, confused. But how are we gonna... He points at her crotch. A two-way zip. He undoes his own a few inches so he can spring out the front of it and then he pulls the hood up over his bald head. There. Now no part of us will touch any part of this skeezy motel. My hero, Liv sighs. And she lets him take her to bed and pound her through the plastic-covered mattress. <laughs> <laughs>